James Held at Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. I'm quite fortunate enough to be joined by Jamie Cox ahead of his WBA World Title Challenge against George Groves here in the World Boxing Super Series. How are you, Jay? Feeling great. Feeling great. Good. Good. How did you pick the press conference went today? Yeah, nice, nice, nice and relaxed. Uh, great venue to have it at the Landmark Hotel, and uh, yeah, it was great. Now let's get right into it. What, what do you make of people underestimating you coming into this fight and sort of playing down your chances of being victorious? Uh, do you know what? Not, I, don't, I don't even look at what's being said. They could say, well, I'm going to win, he's going to win. I'm just concentrating on what tools he has, what I need to do. That's it. Now, this is sport. When Groves won the world title, you boxed on the, the same card that night. Did you have any inkling that, that you and him would be getting it on this, this close to that date? No, John, John always asking for that fight before. Uh, uh, he got asked before to see if we could make the fight happen. I never did. Obviously, George is, you know, world champion and everything. And um, yeah, but now we've got the opportunity. And uh, you know, this is what I'm in boxing for. This is what I'm in sport for. To to be the best. Now we've seen the, some of your building, some some of the build up, and some of your training. You've had some great names in for sparring yeah. for this. Can you tell us who you've been sort of working with? Yeah, big up uh, to Felix Cash, Anthony Fowler, uh, Ricky Summers. Uh, there's going to be a lot more. Chad Sugden. There's there's loads of fighters. I can't even. Think. But, you know, we're getting a lot of rounds in. We're getting that experience in now, ready for the fight. A few little things that John's looking for. Uh, that can, em what, certainly the things that they do in the spine that emulates a little bit what George does. And uh, we're taking a bit from that and just getting prepared. And do it, do it, getting the conditioning in, getting the speed, the power, the endurance, the smarts. We, you know, we really ramped it up. And, um, you know, the, I understand how big the challenge is. He's, he's a great fighter himself, and uh, you know, but but that's what I'm here to do, for a big, big opportunity, big, big challenge. But we will do it. Shane McGuigan made a point today that he feels you're too small for the weight. Do you think him and Groves and the team may be sleeping on you a little bit? You know, I, I don't. You know, I sat there and I wasn't even listening to anything. Well, you know, he's, uh, I'm ready to go back now to the gym and prepare for George Groves. You know, and. Um, you know, it's, it's all part and parcel of the fight. And, uh, you know, the, the, George has had many, many big nights and um, this is my first big one. So, you know, I'm making sure that I'm ready for it. Now, you make a valid point there. Groves has headlines and big, big shows. Yeah. That'll be the two, the two cards at Wembley. Yep. Yourself, you haven't had the pleasure of, of that achievement just yet. No. How will you handle this situation? I would just like to thank Eddie Hearn, my trainer, John Costello, Ricky Mazzotta, Des Witter, and Dean Edwards, you know, I've got a great little team, my family and a couple of other close friends and people that I haven't mentioned. But, you know, they made this happen. And now this is it. This is my time to capitalise and uh, do it for everyone, everyone that's close to me. Do you think you hold the power to stop George Groves in this fight? It's going to be a better fight because he's going to engage. You know, a lot of the people I thought they've ran and then they stooped down a little bit to the level and, you know, you're chasing something because they, then you know, they're not... George is a champion and he's going to fight like a champion and it's going to make it a great fight and it's going to create a lot of openings for me. Now, George Groves mentioned he's comfortable fighting Southpaws having had James DeGale around him for the majority of his amateur career. Yeah. John O'Donnell as well, I yeah. said a well-scored well, well yes. Southpaw. What, what goes through your mind when you hear things like that? You know, we, we both boxed Southpaws and awful doctors all our life. I don't know how many fights there are between me and George, but it's over a couple of hundred, let me tell you. So. Uh, you know, we've, we've got a lot of experience between both styles anyway, and the sparring in the gym, thousands and thousands of rounds, and I'm getting them rounds, I'm getting loads of rounds in right now, and I'm just really looking forward to the fight. Everyone that supported me, everyone that's been behind me, means a lot, and um, I'll make sure that I perform on that. Up until now, I hope you forgive me in saying, you've had a bit of a stop and start career, yeah. capturing that WBO European title, and that was a big honor for yourself. Do you think yeah. the World Boxing Super Series is the platform that you need that gets you out and beyond. Because most have made a massive platform with this W, uh, the, the World Boxing Super Series. There's some great fights. It's, I think it's going to be the future. And um, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Really, really looking forward to it. It's a big, big event. Big fighters in there. All good fights. And yeah, let's go. Are you allowing yourself to think further ahead than this fight? The likes of you, Bank no. and Yildrim? No, never. No, never. You can, you know, we're not on an escalator one step at a time. Give me a fight prediction. Win. A win. You know, I'm going to box smart. That's what people forget.
Jamie Cox, thank you very much for coming to our podcast. Thanks for everyone. Thank Appreciate you. It. Cheers. Cheers.